Hey guys, it's your girl Brie and welcome back to my channel. Today's look is another fall look for the books. This one is a vampy look with a smoked out winged liner. It's a little bit more on the dark side, so if you wanted to tone it down a little bit and just do a nude lip, you could do that. Or just do a bold lip without the winged liner. It's up to you. But anyways, if you guys are interested in learning how I created this makeup look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I am going to be using this palette today. And the first shade I'm going to be going in with, don't mind this one, this one broke, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm going in with the shade Journey, and I'm going to put that in my upper crease. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe M504 brush. are my beautiful people doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I am... Did you guys notice that I changed my background as well? It's very fall-esque, very seasonal. Comment down below if you like it. If you don't like it, just let me know. I just needed to switch it up a little bit, try something new and different, and I've always been a, like a holiday person, and I love the holidays, like absolutely love them. So it's so much fun for me to get in the spirit and decorate. I always decorate, and I'm just happy for it to be fall. <laughs> Bring it on the cold though, I'm so over this heat. <laughs> And if you're wondering where I got them, I got them from CVS. <laughs> I actually got them for a deal. I believe it was buy three, get two free. So it was a pretty decent deal. And they had really cute stuff in CVS. So if you're looking to get some affordable decorations for fall, check it out. CVS is where it's at. Okay, now for the next color, I'm going to be going in with this one right here, which is a warm shade. It's called Ember on a Morphe M518, taking this into the crease. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of cut the crease. I'm kind of gonna do a half cut crease, lay, lay down some concealer. I'm gonna use the NARS Radiate Concealer in Cafe Elate. Okay, so now I'm going to lay down this shade right here, which is called Instinct. This one. The next step I'm going to do is lay down a black liner, any black liner you can use. And I'm just going to smudge it on the outer edge of my eye. And then I'm going to use an angled brush and just work it out and create a wing. This is just in Morphe R45 brush. Now to set the wing, I'm going to use this black shade Onyx and just layer down where I did the liner at. <laughs> Now I'm going to take a small pencil brush and to smoke it out, I'm going to use smoke, this shade right here, and just smoke out the top of where I laid down the black shadow. And this is going to create the smoked out effect. And I'm just doing little circular motions to blend it. Like I said, it's okay if this, the end, the tail is a little messy because I'm going to clean it up with a makeup wipe. I'm just working it into the inner corner. Okay, and you can tell how much more smoked out it looks versus how precise it was earlier. So now I'm just going to use a makeup wipe and, and clean up the outer edge of the eye. And now you can see how smoked out it really looks like the gradient. Like how you can kind of see the dark brown, but then it's like the black and it looks way more smoked out now. But I'm going to go ahead and do the other side off camera and I'm also going to apply some lashes for you guys. So I will be right back. Okay, as you can see, I put my lashes on. I put on House of Lashes Ethereal Menis and put them on there. I also primed my face with the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender, the, the Leveler. <laughs> That's the name of it in light medium 
And for foundation today, I'm going to be using Fenty Beauty. I'm excited. This is a new foundation that I haven't used yet, but I've heard great things. I am going to be using a Kabuki brush today it's from Sigma, Sigma Flat Kabuki F80. shade 220 for concealer I'm using NARS radiant concealer in the shade cafe Luke. and I'm just gonna use the same beauty blender and then just put that in the highlighted areas my poor little face is breaking out so much <laughs> fun stuff Have a little tree on my face now. One of my friends is starting to create a YouTube channel and it's so cute because she keeps asking me for advice and stuff and I'm just like dude I'm still like <laughs> a newbie as well but it's like really cool and flattering like to help her and stuff because just asking me for my advice and how to edit and all that stuff so I feel all important <laughs> like I feel like a pro you know I'm excited for her hers is totally different from mine by the way hers is more farmhouse decor house stuff mine's not like that but she sent me a video of her it was her first day filming yesterday and she's so cute i'm so excited for her she's really excited and happy so it's just her element you know but it looked like she belonged there so i'm excited for her but to set my face i'm gonna go ahead and use the laura mercy a translucent powder in the shade honey this is an elf flawless face brush and i'm just gonna go all over her just tap 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 So for me to do the lower lash line, I'm going to lay down some of that powder just to make sure when I'm dealing with the dark colors, they don't mess up my foundation that I just did. Okay, so to do the lower lash line, I'm going to use the same colors that I did for my transition shades. And I'm going to start with Journey and then I'm going to go in with Ember. So let me do that on a pencil brush. So Morphe... R41 brush. Now I'm going to pick up the M432 from Morphe and go in with Ember. I'm just going to go in with that Onyx shade, the eyeshadow, and then put it right in my waterline. Okay, now to warm up my face, I'm going to be going in with this Morphe palette, and this is the Lo-Fi 8L. I'm going to take these two, Debutante and Enemy, just a combo of those. I'm going to use that same face brush, just give myself an all-over bronze. I did want to do a light nose contour just because I want to switch it up a little bit. So I'm going to try my best. <laughs> ah, my nose looks pretty snatched, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That looks pretty. Wow, it's crazy what nose contour can do for you. So now I'm just gonna put some on the sides, a little bit of baking powder, as well as the top. Just let her bake for a minute. 
for blush, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. palette. I'm gonna take a Morphe M105 brush and I'm gonna combine these two shades right here. They don't have a name on them. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe off the bake from my nose. highlight I'm gonna go in with this wet and wild this is called precious petals and I'm just gonna do this on the high points of my face Use this little brush I think it's from elf I don't remember I think it's from elf I haven't used it in a minute because it's all faded <music> moving on to setting spray I'm using NYX matte finish and putting this all over my face Have you ever hit yourself in the face when you were fanning yourself out? <laughs> I've done that a few times actually. <laughs> Whack! I know. Not today. Okay guys, now for the star of the show by Fenty Beauty. I just felt like this was the perfect fall shade. This is her Stunna lip paint in the shade Underdog. And I love that it's called that because I'm like, I'm an underdog. <laughs> I think anybody is always rooting for an underdog. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to go in on the shade just because I feel like it's pretty opaque. And it should be fine. I don't think it needs liner. Yes. Yes, underdog is beautiful. Oh my god. I love her. Mm. This is freaking perfect for fall honestly this is i love a vampy lip and i just think it's so beautiful mm, it's giving me life please let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please give it a big thumbs up if you'd like to see me recreate any kind of look or review any kind of product please let me know and i will go ahead and do that for you guys and if you haven't already subscribed to your girl Brie Marie, please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. What the f*** am I going to say? I'm going to say. So I am going to be... Why am I so out of breath? <laughs> oh, and this is in the shade... Is that the cool thing to be speeding on your motorcycle in the parking lot? And yeah, so I need to get a fresh beauty blender. How about that?